Hey, I'm coming at you today with a sunless tanning lotion PSA. Um, I wanted to go over a few quick tips and tricks that I use that um, really work well for me. Um, I've been using this product for a little over a week and a half now and I absolutely love it. Um, now that the customers are getting their orders in, I want to go over a few things. Um, the first and foremost, um, I want you to make sure that you do not have any type of oil on your skin when you are getting ready to apply your sunless tanning products. It will act as a barrier. So if you have lotions that you've put on during the day or um, if your soap contains um, any type of oil, um, you'll want to avoid that before you use your sunless tanning product. Um, the other thing is a lot of people are doing a lot of exfoliating and wondering what the best type of exfoliator. Um, it's entirely up to you what you use to exfoliate, but you can actually do a lot of do-it-yourself exfoliants, um, baking soda, sugar, um, sea salt, all of those are um, quick things that you can do to exfoliate. Um, sometimes to exfoliate my legs, I just shave my legs. Sometimes that's the only thing I can work in in a day. Um, but one of the most important things that I want you to keep in mind is no oily type of barriers on your skin because you will see that you will get streaks from the sunless tanning products. This is with any type of sunless tanning product because it absorbs into your skin and um, when there's oil there, it's going to act as a barrier. So the other thing I wanted to tell you is, um, and I do have a glove on, it says PSA, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, if you use our sunless tanning spray, um, the way that I do it for my face and neck is I um, apply it, you can actually apply it straight to your face and spray it on and you can rub it in a little bit. You don't want to rub really hard, especially if you're wearing rubber gloves because you can actually just pull the product off and then it can streak. So you want to make sure that you're just gently rubbing it if you spray it on. Now if you spray it on your gloves and um, you apply it to your face, um, just do it very lightly and very gently. It dries very quickly um, and right after I get done with mine and I'm sure that it's completely dry, I take our Divine Moisturizer and I dab that on my skin to give myself some extra moisture so there's um, nothing lacking with hydration um, in those areas. You can actually use that product on your whole entire body. Just keep in mind it does dry very quickly um, and you want to make sure that you either wash your hands fast or that you um, that you have, have some type of gloves on so you don't get tan palms. We don't want tan palms. Um, the other thing with the sunless tanning lotion, um, this is a wonderful product. Um, when I use it on my face, I combine this with the Divine Moisturizer. I do one part moisturizer to three parts of um, the sunless tanning product. And the reason that I do that is because I don't want my face to be as dark as the rest of my body. Um, but it's entirely up to you. That is a personal preference. Um, I've been using sunless tanning products for years and that's the way that I have always done it and I will continue to do it with this one. Um, so the things that I want to make sure that you are aware of is if you are wearing rubber gloves that you do need to, um, to apply it generously yet you don't want to rub it too hard as to where you're completely rubbing it in your skin and it's going to, um, essentially it's going to end up streaking because the rubber glove is pulling the product away. Um, so just be sure that you're not rubbing it in too hard. What I do is I do these um, sunless tanning products about an hour before I go to bed and um, with the sunless tanning spray, you could do it anytime. But with the um, with the lotion, you kind of need to do that um, and give yourself some time. Maybe throw on some sh you know some shorts or something so you can allow your product to dry. Um, I have had no problems with this product rubbing off onto anything. Um, but again, all of this is personal preference. Everyone does everything differently. I just wanted to share my tips with you. And then last but not least, the one thing that I've been seeing. Um, and I've seen a lot over the years is people um, that have streaks like white streaks on their knees um, Or on their ankles. It's because when they're applying it They have their legs straight out What you want to do is you want to bring your knee up and you want to make sure that you have the least amount of product on your hands on your gloves or wherever when you do actually do these spots and you want to do it like that 
and do that because you want to be able to get into the creases of your skin and that will help avoid any type of white streaks so those are my tips and like i said it may be different for you but that's what works for me